Thank you very much for not going away. We are still here. It's a whole live on NTA. We are on to the quiz segment, but before we go into the details of the quiz segment, we'd like to quickly respond to this uh, question that was asked uh, via the online community of uh, the fans of NTA and specific, specifically that of uh, Sahu Live. We have um, this uh, question here. Sheikh, please, uh, this question for you, Imams. Good morning, presenters. I'm enjoying your program right here in Unsuka, Enugu State. My question is, in Muslim faith, can a non-Muslim man marry a Muslim lady? <laughs> <laughs> can a non-Muslim man marry a Muslim lady? Maybe he has seen a, a nice um, Muslim lady there and he wants to know from you first if he can go ahead. Please, uh, what do you advise him? Should he just, uh, if he's not a Muslim, he should just look for somebody of his uh, faith and uh, go ahead and marry him, uh, marry her rather than a Muslim lady. Uh, Sheikh Tajini, what do you advise? Well, uh, Islam is a religion that is uh, very dynamic in nature, mm. very diplomatic, flexible. Uh, its packages are always complete with evidences. No, um. At times, it may look up to another person who doesn't know Islam. Yes. And that I am saying that Muslims shouldn't be apologetic on their concepts. Mm. And they shouldn't be having any hidden agenda. Mm. By saying, look, this thing, when I say it, it will look odd. So you want to compromise it's straightforward. it. straightforward. Say it. Bring forth your evidences. It's for person who want to be convinced to be convinced or not to be convinced. That is your creed. Mm. In Islam, relationship between Muslims and non-Muslims, is welcome fully in terms of eating in terms of dressing in terms of relating that's why allah Walking. says yes mm -hmm. you can eat their food they can eat your own you can you relate all is legalized mm -hmm. when it comes to even marriage mm -hmm. To tell you Islam is not actually on the rating mm. in a Muslim. It's allowed for a Muslim man to marry a non-Muslim woman. Okay. If there is intimidation, that opportunity will never be given. Mm. I hope this point should be noted y very clearly. Yes, yes. Why? Because in his teaching, he has been commanded not to d d derive her, mm. deny her, from her religion. Okay. You cannot force her to, no, 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 to no. become Muslim. Islam knows she's not a Muslim when she she allow him to marry her. Hmm. In the verse I've just quoted. No. So I'm making this point very, very clear. So that people will not even think that ah Islam actually underrated or Islam doesn't see us as human. No. If it is so, a Muslim man will not be allowed to marry Ali al Kitab. Now, why is it that Islam did not allow a woman to marry a non-Muslim? Because some scholars will just go about dodging the fact that no, 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 it's not. It's not allowed. Don't allow your daughter to marry a non-Muslim. Because by the law of Islam, she must be fully obedient to her husband. Hmm. She don't say no to him. Hmm. Now, if she marries him, in his own religion, he may have the verdicts of taking her to any other religion mm. so by that if she disobey him she has contradicted her principles of islam but that of a man whom islam have control he has mandated him not to make it compulsory on her mm. so that's why it, that's why it's not allowed mm. <laughs> when I tell you, you know, don't allow them to be married don't allow them to marry them until when they are also believers Mm, I see. I hope the analysis is very, yes, very, let me, very well. Uh, let me yes. come in there. I actually want you to learn because this is a question on our sister program that we answer almost every episode uh, on Abrahamic mission. This is a program, this is a problem that many see it as a problem. Mm. But like Imam has said, I think there's one thing that is fundamental here there's an inbuilt system that Islam has put on his adherents hmm. that when you have a relationship with non-Muslim 
that you marry probably as a Christian, this has to be specific. Mm -hmm. L the rule is that even if she wants to go to church, you have the right to drive her to the church mm -hmm. and wait for her to finish her services and bring her back home mm -hmm. because you know you are, mar you are marrying a Christian and Islam recognizes a religion. Mm -hmm. Secondly, there is no other religion that help us the way we have helped other religions. I mean, that help Islam the way Islam has helped or recognized okay. other religion yeah. that this is it. Most women now who now marry uh, uh, a non-Muslim, they at the end of the day, they are, you know one thing that we don't compromise in Islam is the unity of Almighty Allah. Mm. And the moment your husband says this, which one do you take? Do you follow Almighty Allah? Do you follow your husband? Mm. And the moment you follow your husband, which is compulsory in Islam for a woman to follow her husband, then there is a conflict of interest. Mm. And these are the reasons why Islam says you cannot marry a non-Muslim. The question now is, supposing the husband, who is a Christian, now allows uh, his wife that he will do that, what we think uh, is missing. Hmm. Why Islam says so? That is the question now. Okay, Allah, me. Allah make it easy for us. I think there's a general situation of uh, lack of uh, suitable uh, suitors for people as we have it in Islam, we also have it in Christianity. Hmm. Husbands and wives are scarce now and everybody is trying to hold on no, to wherever they are husbands, found. there are husbands, there are wives, but responsible husbands are responsible wives are, are the, the ones, ones that, that, are, that scarce. are scarce. Oh, thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> yes, there are men, there are women, but the <laughs> husband materials, like you say, or wife material. So everybody is doing shopping here and there. If you can't find the mosque, you look for it in the church. If you can't find the church, you let her around the mosque if you see a lady. I think it's a very big issue, but like you have said, for religious harmony and for mutual understanding, it is preferred that you marry somebody that you worship God together in yes. your own way. Yes. That's not going to result into another conflict tomorrow. Don't so prevent conflicts before they happen and uh, be tolerant of one another. Thank you very much for that. Yes, sir.